In other words, hold my hand. Change begins with the willingness to try. If we don't try, things won't get better. And this world needs more people to be willing to try, to do good work. Um, Yes, it's hard. Yes, it's complicated. But... I truly believe like genuine willingness to try will change this world in so many ways, even in, even on small scales. So I highly encourage you to be willing to try. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Jazz for Peace podcast. And today we have yet another very interesting guest. Uh, We've just had such good luck with very high quality guests being attracted to this show. And hopefully you listeners are a part of that. Maybe they're picking up on this great people like you listening. I don't know. We're getting them and we've got one today. Thomas R. Wilson. Uh, You know, the very first thing I saw when I looked at his profile was the great quote by Gandhi, be the change that you wish to see in the world. One of my favorites of all time. I was telling Thomas off camera, I'd heard in my travels that he might not have actually said that, but he said something in a speech and someone transcribed the speech and basically condensed it down to those words. But, you know, however you get to it, I mean, what more could we do better on this planet than be the change we want to see? So it's just an amazing quote. And it's always a smart, a smart person will put that puts that quote front and center like Thomas did. He's the founder of RH Creative Advocacy and Storytelling. He's a professional writer advocate. You know, I am such a supporter of advocacy. A lot of people think that somebody else is going to do this and someone else, and it's some, going to be someone else. It's not, it's you, you people. The average Joe that stands up for somebody makes all the difference in the world. Sometimes it bridges that gap where the person will just take a look at what's going on what that person is doing just because somebody of the common man mentioned it to him and it just it just bridges that gap the next thing you know he's looking at what's going on so you know thomas is going to tell us hopefully about his work as an advocate because i really want you everyone to be an advocate for wonderful things good causes uh jazz for peace our wealth comes from advocating for over 850 of the world's greatest causes through our benefit concert series which is what you know people finally became interested in me after you know finding out what happens in the middle east and we had done the concert at the united nations with israeli palestinian american musicians but let me get some of this information right away i want to get uh thomas talking to you and he's done a lot of things in terms of understanding how empathy and compassion-based care can sustain shared storytelling 